What is up guys? So in case you've been living under a rock, EVO World Finals are this weekend, the world's largest fighting game tournament. Uh, it starts Friday, and today I'm going to be talking about the basics of EVO, where to watch it, what's going to be happening with my channel uh, while I'm gone at EVO, and then what we can kind of expect in terms of announcements, in terms of finals, in terms of all the excitement that's going to come from the tournament. So just to start things off, in case you don't know, EVO is the world's largest fighting game tournament. It takes place in Las Vegas, Nevada. It is at the Mandalay Bay Casino this year. Uh, and it starts this Friday, August 2nd, and I'm going to be there. This is my eighth EVO, which is pretty insane, and it never stops being exciting. So there are nine games there this year. Smash Ultimate, Tekken 7, Street Fighter 5, Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle, Mortal Kombat 11, Samurai Showdown, Dragon Ball Fighters, Undernight Inbirth, and Soul Calibur 6. So that is quite a mouthful, and you can watch all the action on Twitch TV. Here I have sort of a stream schedule. I'm going to link this down in the description as well. Uh, here you can see uh, basically these are going to be the Twitch URLs for where you can watch this specific stuff. So twitch.tv slash evo slash evo1, evo2, etc. So there's a bunch of cool action to check out here. And I'm just going to kind of explain what some of these different things are. So first of all, the jump off is basically like a panel sports center type of thing. And this is a good thing to watch if you just want a little sample of everything. If there's not like a specific game that you want to see every single match for, you just kind of want to see the highlights of everything. The jump off is pretty good for that. And it's being streamed all day, Friday and Saturday at twitch.tv slash evo jump off. And then everything else is basically going to be like each stream is dedicated to one game. So if there's one game in particular you want to watch, that's a good way to do it. Uh, I know in particular I'm keeping an eye out for Samurai Showdown since that's basically a brand new game. It's only been out like a month. I'm so excited to see what happens in the pools for that game. So I think that's going to be pretty sick. So Friday is pools. That's where all of the thousands of entrants play and get whittled down to a smaller group of players that can uh, play in finals. And then Saturday is when most of the second round pools happen for the people who get out of their first round pools, move on to their second round pools. There's a few top eights on Saturday as well. Some of the hypest ones of the weekend, I think, particularly Dragon Ball Fighters and Samurai Showdown, I think are going to be pretty sick. And then Sunday is the last finals for the rest of these games. So Blaze Blue Tag, Street Fighter V, Tekken 7, and Smash Ultimate, their top eights are going to be on Sunday. Uh, some other cool stuff happening Saturday, you can see there's various side tournaments here. So games that aren't part of those nine games that I listed, they still have a presence at EVO. They just don't get time on like the main stages. So there's some pretty interesting side tournaments happening on Saturday. Street Fighter 2, uh, Guilty Gear, the new Kill la Kill game is having a tournament sponsored by Arc System Works at EVO. That's going to be pretty hype. That's at 10 a.m. on Saturday if you want to check that out. 10 a.m. Uh, Pacific time, in case that wasn't clear. Smash Melee is going to be there as well. Marvel 3, there, there is the slightest Marvel presence at EVO. I guess I was hiding it with my head. Is right here. Uh, so, so much stuff happening. I can't wait to watch it all. I'm so excited. As for what's happening with me at EVO, so like I mentioned, this is my eighth EVO. And I'm entering three games this year. I'm entering Dragon Ball Fighters. Samurai Showdown and Unist Undernight Inbirth. Um, and I would say I, I'm, I'm fairly hopeful that I'll get out of my Sam Show pool. I would put it at maybe like a 50% chance. I'm not really hopeful I'll get out of Dragon Ball Fighters. It would be nice, but I'm feeling a little bit out of practice in that game. And then Unist, I literally just want to beat one person and then I'll be happy. <laughs> That's my expectation. But I'm going to try to be bringing you guys content while I'm there. Uh, I would like to do some live streaming, some very low budget live streaming from my hotel room, playing some casuals, that would be cool. And I definitely want to get my matches recorded as well, uh, like with my phone camera or something, just so that I can show those to you afterwards. I did that last year, I'm going to put the link down in the description for that as well, if you want to check out how things went for me last year. And then finally, I guess let's talk a little bit about our expectations for what's going to happen. Uh, kind of relating to this, I made some wagers with my stream chat, and I think it would be fun to get you guys involved as well. So we have some bets that I made with the stream chat, nothing on the line, just for fun. And I'm going to go through these, and you guys can put down in the comments your answer to these bets as well. 
and then later we can come back and you know see how right everybody was so first of all for Dragon Ball Fighters top 8 will there be more GT Goku's or will there be more Bardock's okay how many of them will be in top 8 so uh, my stream chat pretty much everybody said there will be more GT Goku's but I'm gonna take the opposite approach I think there's going to be more Bardocks. I think there's going to be a lot of both of them, but I think Bardock might slightly have the edge. But let me know down in the comments, what do you think? Or is there another character that you think might be even more common than those two? Be sure to let me know. Uh, as for Samurai Showdown Top 8, will there be more than four Genjiros in Top 8? So in case you missed it, uh, there was a tournament overseas that happened last weekend, and six out of eight characters in Top 8 were Genjiro. He's considered by most to be the best character in the game. Do you guys think there will be more than four Genjiros? My chat says yes. Stream chat, a lot of people thinking there's going to be five, six, seven, maybe even eight Genjiros in top eight. I went ahead and took the under on that bet. I think there's going to be four or less uh, because it seems like a lot of American players are branching out trying different characters like Charlotte, Haomaru, Jubei, stuff like that. So I think maybe there will be less than four Genjiros, but we'll see. Uh, another one that we were talking about is how many of the EVO championships this year will be won by American players. So there's nine games. How many of them do American players stand a chance? Uh, the chat was saying between two and three, which I think is a very safe bet. I think Mortal Kombat 11 has very high odds of being won by Americans. Maybe like Sonic Fox or something like that. Uh, past that, I could see maybe Dragon Ball Fighters, Hook and God or Chris G or something could win that. Samurai Showdown seems pretty likely that maybe Justin Wong could win, Alex Valle, Chris G, something like that. But beyond that, what other games could be won by Americans? Punk could win Street Fighter V. He's American. Anyway, I went ahead and took a wild stance that maybe four out of nine will be won by Americans. Four, that's my bet. I might be wrong. I'll, I'm probably gonna be wrong, but we'll see. But let me know down in the comments do you think Americans are going to win zero games? One game? Two, three, four? Let me know. Uh, next up, announcements. There's often some pretty hype announcements at EVO, especially on Sunday when a lot of games are finishing up their top eights. Will there be any brand new game announcements? So I'm not talking like a new DLC for SF5. I'm not talking Janemba for Dragon Ball Fighters. A brand new game. Will any brand new games be announced at EVO, like Street Fighter 6, like uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 5, or maybe Capcom vs. Capcom? Let's just ditch Marvel, make a versus game without them. Uh, that could happen. Will there be a new Guilty Gear? Uh, that's my prediction. I think that a new Guilty Gear might be announced at EVO this year. We're fairly certain they're working on it. It's basically been confirmed. And with BB Tag having a morning slot on Sunday, I think that's the perfect time for them to announce a new Guilty Gear game. So let's see. The, ch the chat predicted no, there would not be a new game announcement, which again, I think is like the safe bet, but I'm going out on a limb. I think Guilty Gear is gonna be announced. Uh, speaking of announcements, will there be a Dragon Ball Fighters announcement other than Janemba? I'm starting to feel pretty confident that Janemba is going to be announced in some capacity at EVO. The fact that he wasn't announced in the latest V-Jump magazine, uh, and the fact that they literally have said nothing about the character other than leaks, it seems likely to me that they're waiting for a big showcase at EVO. They're probably going to show the character. But will there be anything else? Like at this point, announcing a character that we've known about for like three months, it seems a little bit too late. So are they going to announce a release date for the other DLC characters, the Broly movie characters? Are they going to announce that they're making a season three? Are they going to announce anything other than Janemba? The chat said no, and I agree. I think we're not getting anything other than Janemba. As much as I'm hoping, I'm hoping they'll surprise us with something and be like, hey, guess what? Here's Janemba. And also, you know, the rest of these characters are coming in you know, September or something, that would be cool, but I don't think it's going to happen, unfortunately. And then finally, the last prediction wager here, will I make it out of at least one of my pools? Oh no. Will JM make it out of a pool? Uh, the chat barely, barely said yes. They were, they were very slightly yes, and I feel like I have to say yes too. I really want to make it out of my Samurai Showdown pool. We'll see. 
But uh, anyway, that's about all I have in terms of describing Evo. If you've never watched it before, I can't stress enough how hype it is to watch Evo. Even if some of these games are games that you don't play, check them out anyway because it's really, really exciting watching the best players in the world come together on this massive stage to uh, play for the enjoyment of everyone. So it's always a blast. I know I'm going to have a ton of fun and I hope to have a lot of content for you guys when I get back. But in the meantime, you may see some interruptions in my video upload schedule, but I'm going to try my best to keep the content coming. So thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next one.